before we jump start to all those photos i want to give you special advice on street photography so street photography is always about uh, observing the background first and then wait for the subject to pass that background and we have to capture that moment at the right time when we have the good quality background behind the subject so that's how we prepare our framing in street photography and when you are visiting any new place uh, it's better to go to that place without the camera at the very first day because we want to observe the surrounding we want to see where we can get good quality street photography photos what are the angles uh, how we can use the angles at that location and how the light behaves uh, around sunset sunrise time how light behaves and if uh, artificial lights are really coming uh, we can say good in the evening time and how hard shadows cre being created in the afternoon so all these parameters all those things we need to take care hello friends welcome to summit photo world in this video i will take you through all the best photos i have from my street photography i have 100 photos i will talk about composition interesting elements in those photos and the most important the story behind those photos when where and how i captured those photos i will share complete story and if you have any questions where you think that uh, answer may help you to reach your photography goals what you can do you can visit my website there is a form available where you can submit your question and i will select best of the questions to include in my video so without further ado i'll just start showing you all those photos so this is the first image uh, what i have uh, in my street photography collection uh, so this image i captured during my street photography workshop you can see the guy holding the camera and the lady uh, who was just saying namaste to this old man uh, they were my participants in that workshop and uh, we were just uh, roaming around in the local market and observed this old man uh, there and uh, when we start having interaction with this man uh, he was speaking so much uh, we can say the very controlled uh, on English language and we were really surprised at the way he was explaining himself the background how he became a saint and uh, we were just talking about uh, his personal things and uh, how he feel after becoming a saint so that whole conversation is only about that and uh, I was just observing this moment from the far end and I feel that uh, uh, the moment when they were just uh, departing in their own ways so the lady was just saying namaste and the guy was the old man was just uh, returning back and that moment i captured this uh, frame and uh, the interesting element what i found in this frame the person behind uh, the, uh, if you can see a person behind uh, he was just passing by and just observing uh, what is going around here and that was the complete we can say the storytelling image that i was looking for and that moment i captured and i feel uh, when you have a such an engaging photo engaging storytelling photo you feel really motivated and that's what i showed to my participants that uh, if you get a quality work at the beginning uh, it will boost your confidence let's move to the other photo and this photo I captured when I was just walking towards my destination uh, and again in the street photography workshop I was just walking from one place to other and in between I observed this man reading newspaper uh, in the entrance of a apartment and uh, it the light I observed the light how it's falling on the subject if you see how he is holding the newspaper it was uh, quite interesting uh, shapes so of what I can observe here in this frame and the, how the light is falling so everything is something uh, which captured my eyes and uh, overall uh, the composition quite simple but it's really uh, having good impact because of the lighting and this is very interesting frame because the guy was really opposing us to take a photo he was not allowing us to take a photo uh, from the photography workshop I had uh, uh, at Mandai market in Pune and uh, this guy was just uh, holding us to take a photo so I observed he was uh, quite busy with uh, reading newspaper so <laughs> I found this opportunity I went behind we were just talking to each other and without uh, making him realize that we are taking his photo I just took this snap from the back uh, and a uh, kind of editorial shot I was looking for to show the example and uh, I feel comfortable I feel more than happy 
uh, with this composition and the framing this is again an amazing moment uh, this is a uh, from a gray market in pune city where uh, i captured this image uh, uh, at the very beginning of the day where they were just uh, preparing themselves for the shops and for going uh, around the city so they were talking to each other and these fell these fellows uh, they were actually fighting initially they were just arguing themselves and when they observe i was taking their photo they started laughing and they they wake that moment really healthy very very light moment they created and uh, it was really surprising that how people react to the camera so it was great 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 we can say the storytelling image i got with a smile on the face and when you have such expression in photos it will create a lot of energy and that's that's what, being a photographer we always look for adding energy in our frame this photo uh, again uh, from the street market uh, and uh, i was just uh, uh trying to find some different unique angles especially the low and high and see how the things look differently uh, at different angles and this photo i tried uh, to capture from the low angle there were things uh, which were lying on the floor and i took a angle in a way it will cover some part of the bottom of the frame and the remaining it will add some kind of depth also if you observe this frame it's adding some kind of depth we were just looking uh, for the things to cover our subject and the chains i found something uh, looking very creative when we are framing something and uh, th that's what i try to achieve here i try to find a space somewhere where i can have my subject in the frame so this is the kind of framing example i was showing to my participants and uh, this is quite looking good interesting if not that, if not that great but it's still a good example of framing this is again a, a creative touch uh, for the street photography where i found a mirror in a shop and uh, i was just waited i was just waited there uh, just waiting for the moment when i have a good frame and the reflection on the mirror i was just right in front of the shop and just waiting for the uh, guy to have a good uh, we can say the reflection uh, on the mirror and this is the moment i captured overall if you see the lighting it's quite dramatic it was quite uh, dark inside but there was a uh, we can say the tube light the behind the shop if you can see behind the wall uh, there is a tube light which was adding more drama on the frame uh, that's how we create a good light and shade effect uh, when we have uh, uh, artificial lights and with combination of ambient light the guy was outside the shop and it was uh, he was lit by the sunlight only the natural light and this is a uh, really a very memorable <laughs> time for me because uh, the guy was initially looking quite serious when we went to him and suddenly he started to behaving quite differently the uh, what we observed from far he was not looking quite supportive but when we went near to him and start talking he was really supportive and he was really helping us to know around uh, the place and uh, to know how people react on the camera and uh, how we can get more good uh, we can say the storytelling images or the good frames of the people so that that's a kind of advice we get from the uh, people on street and he was a shopkeeper he was just again just uh, waiting for the customers and we he was asking us to take his take a photo of him and while he is showing the finger <laughs> so it was the kind of uh, quite uh, kind of planning which he he was he proposed to us that i will i will make this action and you take a photo and i i, I was uh, just looking for something to uh, cover the frames partially so i found uh, uh, something uh, there uh, some uh, we can say the material I found and I covered some left part 
uh, to hide the distraction so that's what you have to understand when you are uh, working on the street and there are some distractions in the frame you can use the elements around uh, to hide those hide those uh, distraction elements and you can create a really beautiful frame just a little bit of adjustment of framing and you can create a great uh, you can get a good uh, framing result in street photography so these uh, these two girls uh, they, they were sisters and their father uh, was requesting us to take their photo and this little uh, girl was so energetic and she was giving a lot of expressions and the elder sister was looking quite serious and uh, i found this a uh, quite a good composition because when we have two moods captured in a single frame uh, it considered to be good uh, photography so we are just uh, adding elements and looking for the we can say different expressions to capture in a street photography we, uh, that that's how we uh, develop our skills and even in the portraits we'll always look to capture expressions so this is the kind of example uh, where i found two different expressions in a single frame and it was quite impact uh, impactful image overall i hope you like it <laughs> so this is again a kind of uh, we can say example how i was using the elements around uh, to create a frame and uh, it was uh, something uh, suggested by my participant if we can use uh, these uh, we can say the kitchen items uh, uh, from the shop and how we can create a frame so that's how i decided that's how i find this uh, thing in this composition i just get myself very low and i was just looking around i found this composition is a kind of good example how we can frame uh, using the, even the small elements around this is the we can say the initial uh, we portrait from street photography when i was really getting serious and if you noticed uh, the depth of field is quite shallow i was using 85 mm if i'm uh, not wrong if i'm correct it was 85 mm somewhere around 1.8 or 2.5 uh, you can check in the description you uh, you will get a uh, details on the screen that what was the complete exhibit details of this image but uh, this is the nature pure natural light uh, portrait where i was just uh, observing the light around the subject and if you notice uh, there is some colored light uh, coming on the left part of the face uh, which is the reflected light or the shaded light from the cover uh, of the shop so there was a uh, uh, cover on the shop which was color which was quite orange color and it was creating good reflection on the face uh, on the right side it's quite natural you can see in the daylight uh, how it's uh, creating good uh, highlight on the face so this is the kind of uh, we can say the good lighting we can get in the street photography This is uh, again uh, another image where uh, I was uh, quite early to my workshop and uh, I found this uh, street quite empty and suddenly people start walking and uh, because of these sheds uh, on the covered uh, this, uh, this we can say the market area it was a market area at the start of the day no one uh, was there to set up their shop but uh, the cover was there and how it was covering this complete street creating different shades uh, it was really catchy for me and if you notice i used selective color here to highlight the elements which i like uh, the blue the yellow and the green shades i found they were really creating a good effect in overall framing and i was just waiting for someone to pass to cross the light where because there was a patch on the street where the light was falling and i was waiting for something to cross that part and i captured the moment so i found this vehicle just crossing and i just captured this moment It was a really good sunny day and uh, 
uh, for some reason I was having something in my mind to capture this photo intentionally quite a we can see uh, if you see observe this it's quite a movie like frame when uh, when I was looking to capture a bright sky sunny sunny is just peeking through from the corner and uh, how it's creating a backlit effect the rim light everything is quite dramatic so this is what I tried to achieve and I feel I got quite success there and the flares you can see it's uh, really coming really nice on the street this is uh, from the market uh, area inside when we went inside to the market uh, we at the start of the day uh, you can observe that one guy is reading newspaper and the other is sleeping and I found this quite storytelling kind of a composition and uh, I feel that uh, how the light uh, is uh, creating the shades here you can observe the shades how it's being created and the rim light effect around the wall uh, and the person who is sleeping it's creating quite light effect on that a rim light effect so everything is quite catchy so one person is sleeping the other person reading newspapers two different emotions we can see here so that's how we create a good storytelling image this is a uh, this image is kind of, kind of example how we freeze the action on street and uh, uh, this is something in the vegetable market vegetable market you can easily find people just uh, doing uh, they are just setting up their shop doing some cleaning and how this lady those this old lady was cleaning the uh, green chili was something uh, we can say that quite interesting moment for us to capture and uh, it was quite learning for everyone to how we can freeze that uh, but without compromising on the uh, we can say that depth of field the composition so everything has to be quite balanced In this photo, uh, this is the again a kind of kind of editorial shot I was looking for when the person is reading newspaper, just covering the person using the newspaper uh, to create some uh, we can say balanced composition, and uh, you can see how it's it's being uh, we can say composed. I was just uh, observing that uh, when uh, when we have a rule of third in place. Uh, and things look more balanced so this is something i always tell to my participants try to start with rule of third as your base when you have correct base uh, you can develop your skills uh, more and more you can break the rules to break the rules you have to learn more rules how we can break it so that's how we develop our skills Overall on this frame if you can see that how the shades, uh, the light shade, the contrast we have from the background, it's quite complementing. This is long exposure sh uh, shot I captured in the street but with a handheld. Just uh, uh, give you a note on this that it was not on tripod, it was handheld and uh, I was just holding the camera. Uh, it was uh, I believe 1 by 8 or 1 by 10 something kind of uh, shutter speed I was having and just i was holding my breath uh, so there will be less of the shake i will get <laughs> from the camera and uh, i was able to capture this uh, it was quite wide angle lens 24 mm i believe so this is something uh, on the street, street you can create good uh, dramatic frames uh, with long exposure This frame is a kind of kind of finding for me when I went to the vegetable market first time I observed the artificial lighting there so when we have artificial lighting inside the market uh, and you have less of the natural light coming from the window then you have to really depend on the artificial lighting and how you can play with that so this is something is a good learning for us uh, how we can play with the artificial lighting if you can see the lamp here it was just having good enough light to lie to give good uh, we can say exposure on the subject and the surrounding so it was just good enough and the other elements where we have not much lighting you can see they are uh, giving a kind of dark shade effect so 
this is a quite dramatic uh, lighting shade we have uh, just because the artificial lighting is there we were able to uh, get this uh, dramatic lighting frame and again i use the rule of third here if you can notice it's a rule of third where i try to place my subject this frame is uh, quite emotional uh, we were just walking on the street and uh, i observed this uh, old man and uh, it was quite emotional uh, because uh, it felt like he was not uh, we can say in the right mood and the way he was looking to us it was uh, it was quite heart touching and uh, i was just showing my participant example how we can capture a portrait on a street and uh, if there is some distraction in the background how we can overcome the distractions uh, using the things around us so uh, fortunately there was a vehicle behind uh, it was a truck tempo something behind was there and uh, i just pray i just created a frame uh, quite close enough so the background will be filled by that truck and uh, that's what uh, that's how we get a clean frame even in the street when we have elements around us and uh, when we are using them in our favor that's how we can create a good framing clean framing in a street using the elements around this photo is uh, quite a storytelling image you can observe here the lady is just uh, dealing with the customer and uh, the expression what we have the slight expression from the eye the face expression you can you can observe here and uh, it was quite interesting and what i was again, uh, showing to my participant that if we have a uh, we can say the uh, expression where the one person is completely visible the other is completely hidden you can see uh, you can see the buyer is almost hidden we can see a very limited uh, very slight part of that buyer so that's the kind of uh, we can see the curious how a buyer will look like uh, how uh, the expression was something uh, something uh, which we we want to know so we have, it's kind of evoking more emotions from the uh, on in the viewer uh, mind so that's how we create a quite engaging uh, framing or the storytelling image this photo i captured while just packing up uh, while just uh, com uh, coming back from this uh, my we can say that uh, destination or the place where the in the market i was capturing photos so i was just coming back to my parking area and all and i observed this lady on the street and she looks uh, we can say now quite down quite low and we were just observing very uh, from very far and that's uh, that's the feeling of uh, we can say the expression the emotion i was uh, i was really stuck with and uh, i thought to capture this frame and uh, this is a story telling or we can say that quite emotional frame uh, we have so this lady was just observing the crowd and in the market this is again quite emotional frame and this guy uh, it was very early morning and was this guy was having a lot of newspaper i i felt that he is a newspaper guy who was just about to go out to do his uh, work uh, for newspaper dispatching and all and this guy was just uh, having kind of relaxation time but uh, the expression what we see on his face it was looking again quite down so this is something uh, i was observing and i tried to create a frame here this is a portrait photo example uh, from the market and this girl was just uh, sitting on the ground and uh, playing with the siblings and she was not that much active and this is something i found uh, we can say uh, good for me because i was not have to work really hard to get that uh, exact moment which i was looking for to show the split light example how the light was falling uh, on her face and the, that the moment uh, she looked towards my uh, facing down 
I found that moment is right for me to take a shot to show how a split light uh, lighting looks uh, in a natural a natural lighting. So this is the example uh, for this portrait photography uh, where I example the split lighting or uh, when we have a good uh, lighting from the nature natural light uh, coming from the one side. So just give you a hint or the tip here when we are going out for a nat uh, natural lighting portrait and all we always look for the light source from where the light is falling and always try to rely on one or two light source don't go for too much any broad lighting and all just just see the place where the light is coming from one or two uh, portion of uh, some some small portion from the light is falling one or two from one or two side it can be a split light example where the whole sky is on the left the other side is completely dark so that's how we create different light effect effect even in uh, natural lighting this is again uh, in the inside the market uh, inside the vegetable market where the window was behind the shopkeeper and the light was coming from the behind there was not much light on the front but the most the most of the light coming from the behind and uh, the light what you see on this uh, man face it's the lamp artificial lamp uh, which was lighting which was giving uh, quite we can say that uh, a good exposure on the face itself so that's how we create the balance even in the natural lighting photography we use the artificial lighting uh, with combination of natural lighting but uh, we have to first check how the natural lighting is helping us and then we have to introduce the artificial lighting to compensate to uh, to cover something which is lacking that's how we create the that's how we create the balance uh, with the lighting in a natural environment this is uh, just uh, we were quite quickly walking uh, back uh, from this workshop and uh, I observed this uh, little boy he was having this mask and uh, the way he is holding the hand in front of mask it was uh, quite interesting and that moment I found uh, quite eye-catching and captured this and if you noticed uh, I again try to apply rule of third here this photo uh, where I was just showing how we can use the artificial lighting uh, to create good effect uh, when we have uh, a place where the, the, there is not much uh, sunlight or the natural light play available and only artificial light available from the market uh, we can still manage to create good uh, effect uh, of the lighting using the lamps around us so i was just uh, waiting for uh, for those for someone to come near to the lamp i was just uh, just uh, in the street photography there is a one uh, one major we can say that point we always have to remember we have to frame first we have to frame we have to make a frame and then wait for our subject to come into that frame and that's what i did on this uh, photo i just pre prepared my frame and just waited myself uh, just let uh, let the people come near to the light and i then i take a photo so this this is what i did in this this is again from the open market where at very, at very early start of the day and this fellow was just burning a fire it was a uh, you can you can observe that because uh, he is burning the fire is just warming up the feed it's winter time so it was captured during the winter and uh, maybe he wasn't he wasn't having anything to burn uh, but he found a uh, spare clothes uh, and I found this uh, moment quite eye-catching I was just looking for the things around I created a frame just to hide the distraction and all because I was just focusing on the feet uh, how is holding the feet on the fire and that the moment I captured 
this is quite engaging frame so when we have a lot of expression from the face and when people talking to each other and so all these things uh, create good energy in the frame that's that's how we create a uh, we can say nice street photography storytelling images when people interacting with each other and this is something i created where i just uh, focusing on this lady and i used one person to hide the uh, half of the frame uh, to create a, we can say uh, we can say quite mystery mysterical <laughs> mystery kind of photo where you will never know that what was uh, who was she was talking to so that's how we create interesting frames this photo is again quite memorable photo for me because i in one of the competition it reached uh, at uh, top 3 the shadow you can see on this frame i created this i edited this photo in a photoshop i created this shadow uh, to make a effect uh, to just enhance the visual so this is not the natural shadow i created this uh, in the photoshop and i found this interesting moment when this uh, guy was this uh, guy was just reading newspaper with relaxed mood and i was just on the other side of the street Uh, on the street i observe i just place my camera quite right uh, on the frame balanced it uh, because when we are creating composition we always look for the horizontal and the vertical lines in the frame so what uh, that horizontal look horizontal and vertical look vertical that's what we have to achieve so this is uh, what i did in the right on the camera This is again editorial shot example where I was just uh, looking to compose uh, this shot in a way it look more artistic quite cinematic and I just placed the camera uh, around the railing and just create a kind of uh, angle in this frame so I was just covering some part of the shop uh, using this uh, coconuts uh, you can coconuts uh, you can see on this uh, a uh, frame uh, i use this with purpose to cover uh, to blur it out to blur out when we are blurring the front elements it create some illusion for the depth and that's what we can observe in this image so this is a quite uh, we can say uh, my one of the favorite editorial shot i have in the street photography this is again a good moment when this uh, little fellow was uh, uh, just playing with his grandfather and uh, i believe uh, this guy this little fellow was just trying to snatch the newspaper and i found this moment very interesting to capture that's how we catch a good storytelling image this is again action for photography example where this guy was just uh, uh, doing this uh, we can say that uh, splashes and uh, uh, when i observed this man uh, the interesting part is that uh, as soon as i try to capture he complete the slash splash and <laughs> i just missed the shot so he was just keep observing me that uh, what i am trying i so i told him as soon as uh, i try to capture you complete the splash so i am not able to match your speed so he told me okay no problem i'll do it for you when you are ready just tell me so it's a kind of kind of mutual understanding between us when uh, he completed the uh, when he was about to complete the splash i was also ready then i then i was able to capture this complete motion of the splash so sometimes you get supportive people on street and you can get really creative this is again uh, quite uh, we can say the emotional frame <laughs> for me because uh, one guy was sleeping the other was uh, having a mobile and uh, the window broken window how the light is falling on them creating good uh, we can say that lining effect the rim light effect we are seeing here overall the uh, depth of uh, light you can observe here how the light is traveling the shades it's being created here this is a portrait photography example from the street where this man asked me to take a photo and uh, 
I was just observing the surrounding. I asked him to hold this uh, uh, bamboo stick uh, there and just give me a look from the side, little bit side and give me a look and I try to capture this frame. I hope you like it but uh, uh, this is how we create that uh, different effect or the, we can say that expression uh, in portrait photography. It could have been much better but this, the, in street photography you don't have much time. Uh, you have to be very quick uh, on your selection of shots. This is again an action photography example where this guy was cutting the green mangoes and uh, I was just observing from far and just waiting for the moment when he was just throwing it into that plate. Uh, th throwing the pieces into that plate and I was just observing the moment and uh, I took at least five, six shots and one of them uh, which uh, I got it here, I can, I, I, this is something I was looking for. It's quite close to what I was looking for. It, it could have been more better when there were uh, more pieces in the air, but I got something very near. Uh, this is again very early part of the day where the streets you can observe quite empty. Uh, these two ladies I observed one walking one was walking one old lady walking in the middle the other lady you can see the bag on her shoulder so must be an office girl uh, must be going to office or going to some other institution but uh, this is something i was just trying to show different generations so when we have different generations in single frame uh, it is quite considered to be a good engaging frame or good we can say uh, visual impact will be there because we have two different generations in the single frame. So this is what I try to achieve here. I was just uh, sitting on the corner of uh, the we can say the road and I was just having my frame ready and waiting for someone to pass. I was looking for actually one person. Uh, right in the middle but suddenly this uh, young lady appear and start walking besides and then I captured this frame and I believe this will and uh, this is adding more impact uh, when we have one person so it's all up to you how you want to make a frame this is again a framing example uh, where I was uh, or on the roadside the railing what you can see in the frame and the back this is the similar railing I was having from the other side and I was just covering the some part of the lens using the railing to create this grading gradient effect and uh, I was waiting for someone to come uh, into that grading of gradient effect so this is something I tried to achieve uh, to create a mysterious uh, shot here uh, which I believe I got it In this frame, uh, street photography is no, not always about human interaction and action and something like that. It can be anything which you find interesting on the street. And uh, even these uh, scraped uh, statues, uh, Ganesha idols I found in the market, uh, the, how the light was falling on these uh, statues, it was really interesting uh, how it's, uh, it's creating different shades and creating all that uh, light and shadow effect overall it was quite interesting to my eyes so i tried to capture this i try to create a frame and if you observe always i try to include the lines in a slanting way instead of uh, horizontal vertical i try to include lines slanting way but there are reasons so when we have a slanting line in our frame it will add more energy when we have vertical or we can say the vertical horizontal line in our frames then we call that as a static energy so they will not have that much uh, uh, we can say that they have different uh, emotions arise when we have different uh, kind of lines in our frames slanting have quite energetic and uh, horizontal and vertical will be quite static 
this guy was having mobile phone <laughs> and i found this uh, quite interesting he was quite like a, a small kid the way he was just playing on the mobile and i was having a portrait lens with me working with the shallow depth of field 1.8 i believe it was on 85 mm and i was observing this guy and try to create a frame uh, kind of we can say editorial work i was looking for but uh, something i got it and with the shallow depth of field also it's looking quite interesting and how the light the photography is all about lights light and shadows how you play with the light and shadow so this is something i found very interesting in this frame uh, i was just trying to uh, capture the uh, light rays the light rays capturing the light rays it's really tricky it's really tricky you have to be on a specific angle uh, you have to work really hard on the ISO part to capture the light rays. You have to balance it. And uh, this is something uh, quite interesting uh, to capture. And uh, what I did here, I just framed this frame or changed my angle in a way that light rays will reach to this guy who was just sitting on that uh, area where he was cutting the coconuts. and. Uh, that's that's how I framed it uh, just light change of angle it will create different effect and uh, uh, these two fellow on the down they were talking to each other so when we have three uh, three people in a frame it will create rule of odd so these kind of things you can observe uh, when you're creating a frame just apply some composition rules play with the light and all shadows uh, you will get a great frame every time in the street this is uh, again quite interesting frame and this old man was sitting on a sh in a on his seat on the shop right in front of him and suddenly he just stand up and went behind to see something uh, from the window and i observe how the light is falling on a face uh, and this is something i try to capture here I and this is really creating a good giving me a good effect of lighting how it's lighting while falling on the subject i have one other photo i'll show you for the same man uh, this photo is uh, again a storytelling photo where I always try to capture the interaction between seller and the buyer and there is no be other or better way when they are exchanging money. So I always try to capture this moment from different different angles. This is one of the unique angle I was uh, I was looking for and uh, from the behind it was giving quite different feeling. So this lady was giving the money or the person was taking the money so everything you can you can assume but it's when you are trying to assume a photo and you are trying to read something it means you are uh, quite close to quite near to you, uh, your target to create a good storytelling image when we try to create a story from the image that's how we create a good street photography with the story so this is again cinematic kind of composition I was looking for with my portrait lens and I was just observing this lady and the light how the light is falling there was big open area uh, in uh, just near to this uh, shop and uh, because the light source was quite big and light is uh, coming really coming with the good quality uh, I observed this moment I was just placing the camera uh, on an angle uh, from little distance and just waiting for someone to cover some portion portion of that so because when I try to cover a portion uh, there are two reasons either I'm trying to hide some distractions or I'm trying to create a we can say uh, quite a mysterious kind of framing where uh, viewer will try to observe or try to imagine what will be the uh things on the different side on the other side so this is something i try to achieve in my frames overall the colors and the lighting i really like this this photo is uh, look like a quite uh, vintage kind of so this is something i tried to achieve here it was a uh, quite like a missed shot for me that time uh, i was trying to capture the motion action here uh, to i to freeze that uh, potato how he this guy was uh, 
falling on the potatoes on the basket i was trying to capture this but uh, it was quite now we can say that 85 mm 1.8 i believe that was the lens i was just working with that especially for portrait but uh, in between i found the moments i i never mind to capture with the wide aperture uh, i captured this moment and when i observed this on the camera i observed the light and the shadow so that time i decided that i can make it more artistic uh, in a post processing by converting into black and white so this is something i tried to achieve it's, this is look this looks like a quite a, uh, old movie scene something like that where uh, something similar print effect you will see in the movie in this frame i try to show my participant how we can use the elements around the things around uh, with the shapes and we can create a frame between the shapes so when we have a shapes included in our frame it will create good effect overall impact will be great when you have a shape so triangle you can see the of the cycle and i try to capture a scene within the triangle so that's how i try to create a frame i hope you like it <laughs> so in this frame i try to use selective color so when we have a lot of things going around uh, in a we can say crowded place and you want to highlight something specific some emotion you want to arise in, within that crowd uh, you can use selective colors depends on that uh, how the colors how the colors are available in that area and how you are how people are wearing those bold colors and all so in this frame uh if you see i use the selective color with the blue and uh, there are only two col blue colors i can observe one is this guy standing and the other on the far corner you can see uh, i believe that it's the trouser of that guy who is in the blue shade color so this is something uh, i try to use the blue shade uh, i've observed in this frame and the expression even that uh person is not in good focus my focus was on the different fellow in the middle but uh, this uh, the expression i think i missed there i should have been focused on this fellow uh, and so it could have been more interesting frame but never mind so this is the example i want to show you that you can use selective color and uh, you can move the attention of viewer to something which you want to so as a photographer we want viewer to travel the image or how we are traveling so if you are achieving that thing it means you are going good this is again a action i want to capture these guys working with the newspaper uh, we can sampling or the binding they were just preparing the their bundles uh, to dispatch and in between he was just separating some newspapers in different categories and all and i observed that how he was throwing the newspaper on the other side so this is something i found very interesting i have few more images in my portfolio where i try to capture the frame from different different angles but this angle i want to show you just for like that how the flow is coming how the flow is coming so that's how we observe how the action behaves so this is that's how we try to create a frame and if you see the newspaper bundles around i try to create a frame using those bundles base is that only and this guy is the subject around rule of third and how the action behaves again the rule of third is playing here this is again a great example of rule of third in the middle of everything if we have rule applied this lady is right in that and how she is looking on the other side waiting for the customers and then looking on the public looking onto the public so everything is there so even in the middle in the even in the busiest place you can capture great frame just all about the timing and uh, how you observe the surrounding around the subject in this square frame uh, what i did i tried to use the wall uh, you can see observe the wall uh, i just placed my camera right beside the wall create some kind of angle uh, so it looks like it's traveling to that uh, it's going into that angle and how it's reaching that person who is reading the newspaper 
uh, it's creating good frame effect that's how we divide our frame in parts and create a different frame this is again a storytelling image where the three people talking and the expression we can see here and uh, if you see one of the guy uh, face is hidden so this is something we always look for to create drama in our frame where we hide some uh, faces uh, where people are people are talking to each other in doing interactions if we have one person face hidden it will add more drama in the frame this is again an editorial photo example where I found this fellow giving a cup of tea to all the street uh, shopkeepers and street sellers and uh, I observed that uh, how is uh, putting how is this just pouring the cup with the tea and that moment I took I tried to create a frame here in this photo uh, if you observe, I tried to capture my participant. He was taking photo, but I was just showing uh, him that how we can uh, create a good framing. It's quite an example of that where everything is uh, surrounded with elements and there is some portion where you, f where you find you can capture the frame. So that's how we develop our skills for framing. This is a storytelling image where the people are doing interaction and how we capture the expression. So at the right moment, you have to press the shutter release button. So you have to be very careful. Uh, just imagine you are capturing a movie scene or try to mimic that. Try to create a movie scene in a real time. Uh, just observe how people are doing interaction, uh, who are interacting with each other and uh, you have to find a right moment to create a frame. Three people talking to each other. So, so rule of third is there. A rule of odd, sorry. A rule of odd, rule of third. So all that you have to keep in mind. In this photo, uh, it's quite, uh, we can say, uh, quite different than uh, other photos. So here what I try to show you, there was a uh, we can say stage area in front of the gate and I just placed my lens just low enough so it will show that that uh, it will not show the empty area between that so that that's what I try to achieve here the lines I observed on the stage area how it's leading to that so I you can create different effect all that angle matters I want to create a symmetrical frame here where uh, I use the stage area right in front of the gate. This photo, it's quite, uh, we can say, memorable for me because <laughs> this guy was really angry with me when I was taking his photo and uh, the, the look which I got in this frame, it was the f only photo I got uh, and uh, he said, he simply said, don't take my photo. So. I said thank you sorry but uh, by that time I already got this shot and uh, this is the funny moment or this we can say the quite uh, complicated things happen on street photography when people start opposing you when we people oppose you we should not do any argument we have to accept it that they have their own space their own privacy and we can't interfere with that so we have to accept it we have to say thank you no problem we have to go you have to just move away try to move away from the situation that's how we uh, handle the complicated situations in street photography this is again a rule of third example i left the empty space so when we have empty space it means you are making a good stock photos which can be used by agencies this is again interesting photo where this uh, newspaper uh, Palo was preparing the paper bundles for newspapers and how he was shuffling the newspaper that was quite interesting to me and I observed I observed he did this two three two three times and every time I observed this uh, newspaper with a face I can observe a female face in the newspaper and uh, that time only I decided that uh, this frame I should capture 
and I will capture only the split second he hold the newspaper. So this is the moment I captured for the, sp for the split second. So the moment is really quite fast on the street. You have to be very quick. You have to be very pre-visualized with your imagination that what you are going to capture. This is very, very traditional street photography when the person walking by, there is a clean background when we have shutters. So the shadow you, what you can see here, it's not artificial, it's not Photoshop, it's a real, <laughs> it's a real shadow what we have. And, uh, and this guy also creating is quite, you can see minimal shadow on the shadow. So that's that's something quite interesting to me uh it's quite simple minimal frame we have on the street this is something uh, we can say that uh, uh there is a term called forced perspective so where we are creating kind of illusion that illusion that how things are behaving in a frame which looks quite unusual so if you see this guy walking and having newspaper or something on a, in, in his hand and there are elements behind him the bus is there the people on the cycle uh, on the scooter so so everything look quite running but uh, if for the splits again if you observe it very initially you think that is holding the bus or he is stopping the fellow uh, on the vehicle. So it's giving quite of illusion effect. That's what this is what I tried to show to my participant. Uh, we have to really be very pre-visualizing uh, the scene. We have to be very, uh, we can say, uh, ready, pre -de -pre -de predict our shots, how we are going to get it. So this is something is we have to work really well to improve on this it's not quite great thing great example of it but this is something what i want to show you that what you can try to achieve for me it's the best photo here <laughs> this is a portrait photo example from the street where uh, this guy was quite interesting fellow he was himself uh, having quite uh, we can say enthusiasm for photography he was once doing photography uh, professionally what he was saying and uh, uh, I found the facial uh, things on his uh, face and the moustache the beard everything quite uh, interesting for me and uh, he was sitting in that quite dark shadow so the, the behind if you can observe it's completely dark and I observed a little bit light coming on his face it'll give me a good quality portrait photo so I just got it what I want in that and the same fellow he was talking to my participant and uh, that day I was talking about the layering the things in a frame so how we can layer the things how we can create good layering effect using the elements in the frame and uh, when we are talking about layering we call, sometimes call it as up thing also if you can see this uh, um, young guy is the layer one and this old man is layer two and the lady behind is layer three huh? that's how we divide our frame and layering it will create a kind of illusion effect some people want to focus on the layer one some people want to focus on the layer three it's all different perspective how we see the things for me uh, if i focus on the middle one middle layer uh, it'll give you kind of a good depth uh, from little from the front uh, from the front from the back so it's all up to you how you want to create that illusion effect the depth of feeling the layering effect what you want to create this is uh, something uh, i was uh, observing some great for street photographers how they create photos and some of the example i observe where uh, they try to show the moment uh, but not showing the person face so this is what i try to achieve in this frame i try to show some kind of story how people are interacting but i don't want to show their face so this is something i try to achieve here i hope i got some success this is a quite a we can say the moment uh, uh, we can easily find on the street uh, but uh, what i what i observe here what i sense uh, this guy on with the cycle he was just walking by, by on the street and the uh, guy in the middle he was just washing his hand 
and uh, this is something i found the two emotions one running and one holding so something i found interesting uh, you can mention in the comments <laughs> that what you like about it or, or if you don't like it i never mind it but uh, this is something when I see a frame, uh, I, I look for my intuition, how it's coming, how I feel it. Something is creating inside me or not. Some feeling is generating or not. That's, uh, that's how I select my photos. That's how I think. That's how I choose that this is the photo I want to create. This fellow was really interesting because uh, he's a straight seller. But uh, whenever I pass by him, he always ready to give a good pose, pose for the portrait and uh, he is really happy fellow there are a couple of different creative uh, photos i have in my portfolio where he was having uh, his uh, cleaning of clothes on the sh on the head and he's really interesting fellow and this photo i try to capture uh, because i was testing with the, my portrait lens uh, with the shallow depth of field i believe it was 8 85 mm with the 3.5 aperture i was working initially uh, and uh, i found this photo really good for the example the example what i what i showing to my participant that uh, background the background how you can create uh, clean even in the busiest street by using the shallow depth of field by using wide aperture you can really blur out really blur out everything behind the subject so this is what right what i tried to show here it was completely crowd behind him but uh, because of this uh, portrait lens the wide aperture i was able to create a clean portrait this is editorial, editorial photo example In, i should say this is my uh, first editorial example uh, from the workshop where uh, when we are talking about editorial it means we are talking some part of that body, uh, human body not the whole part that's how we create editorial shots so it was initial so it just uh, gave me a benefit of doubt if it's not fitting in your expectation but this is something i started with this photo uh, i was just observing the light and shadows on the street it was sunny day you can see how the bright day was and how hard the shadows are being created in the street and this guy was just uh, just crossing the street because in street photography we frame we frame the uh, we create our frame first then wait for subject and fortunately i found this uh, guy on the cycle passing and it was good sunny day good lighting so i was able to freeze the moment this is again memorable photo for me because uh, the the lady talking to my participant you can observe the camera uh, to the uh, to the participant <laughs> with the participant you can observe the camera uh, on the right corner so she was not happy she was not happy with the girl because uh, for the old lady uh that the the cloth what uh, what she was wearing was not good so she got really bad reaction from the old lady she was not happy so these things can happen uh, especially uh, when uh, you interact with people with different mindset uh, how they react to you you never know on what topic they can react to you you never know so uh, try to be very we can say manipulative try to be very diplomatic uh, don't try to be rigid that's for sure try to adjust with people around you try to have a good healthy conversation don't go into the argument when you are on streets because uh, when you are going with the uh, when you are working when you are working with uh, strangers you have to be very light nature you have to be very he healthy nature happy nature so the more light you will feel the more uh, comfortable you will feel on the street that's how we develop our skills and uh, some says or even i believe that uh, when we are doing street photography it means we are developing our second nature so even if i am shy in my personal life i may be more uh, outgoing or more talk to you in street photography i do not uh, hesitate when i have camera on my and my hand and i'm doing street photography i never hesitate i talk to strangers more freely 
but when i am with family or going alone without the camera i try to avoid uh, having uh, any conversation with strangers so that's how we develop our nature so develop uh, developing nature is a skill is a time taking process but you have to have good one we can say thing always in your mind that you have to be really in good mode when you are going out to the street for photography this is again editorial photo example quite improved editorial photo i have here so this guy was just doing some you know, we can say calculation on the diary and i observed this moment and i captured this frame the light was coming from the behind that was uh, catching my eye to create good frame here here i was just uh, showing the example over the shoulders photo so mostly this is a cinematic uh, composition example where uh, characters talking talking to each other and the camera is coming over the shoulder from other characters so that i was showing uh, as example of composition and the expression from the old guy you can see here it's quite interesting this is not a shopkeeper he is a uh, he's he's uh, my participant <laughs> that time in the sh workshop so he was so interested and he was ro really fascinated with the lighting and all so he t he told me that uh, he will go in place of the shopkeeper and i will create i will take a photo of him so <laughs> he was really happy and because the light was so uh, amazing that time uh, i found it i found this frame really interesting it was quite funny moment this is a you know, we can say that a bookish style or the quite a traditional orthodox street photography example i was trying trying to create where people are busy in their own uh, life uh, three ladies talking to each other and the one old man uh, doing his stuff i do not want to talk about it <laughs> so and when we are trying to create a frame uh, uh, it's uh, all our uh, thinking or the imagination what is going around inside of, in our mind all that all that uh, help us to create a frame this is again one of the inspired photo i i captured this with inspiration of some other professional work uh, where the action being captured but the head is not in the focus so you can see i cropped it or i didn't frame it uh, with the head in picture and this uh, whole story is uh, showing on the street where this person with his dog walk trying to cross the road and observing the traffic and the dog also observing the traffic <laughs> the overall the lighting and the details what i observe in the in this uh, chain of uh, that that's what i catched my eye actually uh, how it's flowing the light uh, in overall this is the gain uh, example of composition where uh, i was just uh, showing how we can create a balance in the frame uh, and if you notice i have total five people in this composition where the one lady right, standing right in the middle and the we can observe the two stories in this frame on the left side uh, they have totally different expressions different feelings going around and on the right the, the people uh, doing some rituals in the background so they have totally different feelings so we can have two different emotions in a single frame and the balancing is being created in this frame with the lady in the center so this is something creative i try to achieve you can tell me in the comments how you feel about it this is again uh, quite creative shot uh, i was going to some place uh, maybe on a workshop but it was quite a rainy day i was in a cab and uh, in inside the cab uh, cab i was just observing the rainy day and uh, i thought oh, why should not i capture this uh, effect uh, to some in a creative manner instead of uh, capturing the splashes on the window uh, why should not i try to capture something minimalistic way 
so i observed this uh, uh, we can say the reflection uh, on the small mirror this small mirror you don't uh, e normally see in a car so this is something i found quite interesting so when we are going in the street photography we always look for something uh, quite uh, we can say different than usual which is you don't see usually in daily life you find rarely so when you have something captured which is uh, noticed or which is being seen very rarely that make that frame quite interesting so <laughs> this is that's how i captured it so you can tell me in the comments if you like it and what you find interesting in your view let me take a sip of water okay so in this frame this is the snap this is the uh, okay, this complete photo of a bus so in this bus what i observe the window in bus all will always have a window and how we can capture this in a more interesting way instead of capturing whole bus and all the windows or capturing two windows where i can show in one window the driver the other window the passenger so this is something i try to achieve so how you think your composition is all depend on that what you are thinking on that day not every day you have same natures and not every day you have same uh, mood so all depends what is going on in your mind at the time of uh, shooting or at the time of when you have a camera in your hand on the street this is the first photo a really first photo of panning <laughs> and this is the first photo i showed uh, or ex given example to my participant how to create a panning shot uh, and when we are talking about panning it means we are chasing the subject we are using a uh, we can say uh, the camera shutter speed will be around the same something which is equal to the vehicle passing so we have to adjust our shutter speed according to according to the speed of vehicle so to capture a good panning shot you have to find a place where the vehicle is passing right in front of you in the parallel way it's uh, it's only possible to capture a good panning shot when vehicle is passing right in front of you and you have to adjust your shutter speed like for uh, example you can start with 1 by 60 till 1 by 80 and see which is working sometimes uh, uh, you have to really go high on 1 by 100 too but all depends uh, how the shutter speed is behaving or how the results are coming for different vehicle at different speed not everyone is running on the same vehicle speed they have different uh, vehicle speed so you have to adjust your shutter speed accordingly but you have to chase it you have to pan it This is again minimal uh, photography composition example from the street where I observe the hand coming out and uh, this is something uh, quite uh, catchy for, for, for eye catching for me and this oral, oral frame I found this small hand coming out <laughs> and it's giving me different sense of feeling I don't know what we call but this is uh, interesting so i created uh, i created an angle if you observe i have my lens placed besides the wall the there are there were shops closed shops you can observe the locks on the handle so i just placed my lens close enough so it will create illusion of depth create some kind of angle how the things are converging and in between fortunately i found that hand coming out they were talking to each other but the one person is hand is keep coming out so i thought i should why should not i capture it this is uh, from the if i'm not wrong i i can recall correctly it is it is from some uh, it is from uh, some traditional festivals going around in the city and i was with uh, with a friend on that day and uh, uh, there were people who was doing these rituals uh, 
and i observed this uh, old fellow old man uh, he was keep uh, asking people uh, for this and uh, i thought why should not i try to create a uh, movie like a frame in this uh, where how we see the things in a movie uh, why should not i try to create it so i just adjusted my angle in a way that uh, I'll have a person of the uh, the old man in the middle, and uh, the person who is uh, getting these uh, rituals, uh, he's on the right, and the crowd on the left, and just creating overall complete story. So that's what I try to achieve, and I try to have I tried my best to have good focus on the eyes. So the details from the eyes is something. uh which which was really uh we can say the great result for me in this overall frame this is emotion emotional this is really emotional for me and uh, the expression what we see from the lady and uh, the front element if you see in this frame uh the people are exchanging money with the goods and the other lady is also a shopkeeper or uh, having a weight machine if you observe it correctly she is having a weight machine and waiting for someone to come at that shop and uh, the expression maybe she is having some thoughts in her mind i never know what is that but uh, some emotions are clearly visible on her face so this is what is really uh, we can say uh, what i observed in that crowd and i try to create a frame i was just uh trying to create a frame where people are doing some interaction and i have my subject right in between them so this is what i try to achieve here uh this is a uh, quite uh, new for me to capture a working man uh uh she was, he was a uh, doing cycle repair and uh I, instead of going really wide i thought why should not oh, i come create a frame with a quite a close up kind of where i can share i can show some part of that cycle and this shopkeeper this is what i try to achieve here and overall the light is really good this is uh, this is the first and most priority uh, being a photographer observe the lighting around subject this is a long exposure shot in this long exposure shot if you observe uh, the lady in the middle uh, she was holding a kid and mostly she was uh, and the guy holding the kid too mostly they were only quite static others were moving quite so they were in the middle they were helping me to create that frame i was just creating motions effect in the frame where some people standing and some people moving so this is what i try to achieve and if you see the poster behind <laughs> so that poster having a guy looking with the glasses and holding like this so this is something i found adding more impact in overall frame that how he is observing the crowd <laughs> this little fair guy uh, i observed this uh, he was selling small toys and uh, just uh, i observed the moment when uh, he was just uh, looking at other kids so it was quite emotional for me how he was observing other kids uh, who was in the uh, we can say that festival in festival time Uh, in the market for market in the market for shopping and he was observing other kids and the emotions uh, what i see in his eyes it was really heart touching for me and uh, i try to create a frame when he was just blowing up this uh, whistle kind of so i was just waiting for the moment when he blow up create a line so i can divide the frames so this is something uh, which is which was going in my mind to create a frame this is again a newspaper uh, guy story where uh, uh, they are just uh, talking to each other 
may be discussing about something how they dispatch the newspaper but overall the framing overall framing what i was looking for the bundle of newspaper around and as one guy resting on them and the other guy is just looking at the newspaper just trying to create some kind of a uh, complete story uh, at the early at the early part of the day in this frame uh, what i try to capture the silhouette silhouette when some when light is totally behind the subject nothing is in front so it will create dark shadows and uh, this is something a kind of inspiration what i have observed what i what i've seen uh from professional street photographers a uh, similar kind of composition where they try to have some action or some something going on while creating a silhouette so this dog was just uh, moved uh, we can say back when these two girls <laughs> arrived and they both got scared <laughs> so it was quite funny moment but uh, that moment i, I realized that this is just time to capture it so you can see the motions uh, from the girl and from the dog it's quite similar quite similar the uh, dog just uh, uh, the dog just start to move back and the girl feet you can observe she almost took a step to we can say just to avoid that so this is a uh, again from the vegetable market where the shopkeeper and seller uh, interaction we can see here so quite traditional street photography example uh, in this photo the uh, the main thing what uh, what i want to show to my participant and that how we can create a frame uh, so when we are framing something we have to observe the elements so uh, the boundary of the shop if you can see from the sides how i created the frame so again i observe the horizontal vertical line and i try to use that as a frame this is again a storytelling image where one person looks to be uh, the guy holding with the, holding the pen paper he looks to be supervisor and the guy holding the baggage uh, he looks to be labor worker uh, but uh, the expression the expression we have from both uh, is something is eye catching for me in this so that's creating the story in this frame they have some thoughts in their mind so we always as a viewer try to we can say uh, anticipate what is going on uh, in that so that's how we create the frame this is a rim light effect uh, i try to create uh, in uh, vegetable market uh, where the shopkeeper uh, was uh, having some good rim light effect around his face and uh, the there was completely dark background behind him and uh, the light was coming from some big open space from the angle not from the behind just from the angle which was helping me to create a good rim light effect it was the first attempt of creating that <laughs> that's why it's it's uh, in my favorite list this is again as uh, from the my market where uh, uh, this lady was talking to uh, uh, one other old man and uh, i tried to create a, uh, we can say that dramatic frame here because that person face is hidden behind the pillar so this is something left the viewer curious about it that uh, how the expression was uh, was it happy was it sad was it some some different action something so people has to just uh, curious has to be curious about it how the expression was what was what kind of conversation so when we people when we have people interacting with each other and we can see both expressions we can anticipate we can know that uh, how the conversation was but in this because one person face is hidden it will left the viewer, viewer just curious about it how the conversation was Uh, in this is example you can see that expressions from all the faces so that's how we create a good street photography storytelling image and the girl holding the camera she was my participant that time 
and she was really happy she was really satisfied with the result because she just took a portrait of a person and uh, she was just observing it uh, and just reviewing the work on the camera and she was really happy with the result and what i observe from the far that i can observe the different expressions the lady in front of her just observing the other lady and when guy in the corner right behind uh, he seems to be observing the whole market and also i observe the three different expressions in the single frame so that's how i create a dramatic uh, we can say a street photography uh, frame effect and the layering effect you can observe again what i try to apply here multiple layers not even three layers you can observe one layer two layer three layer and four layer four layer i can observe in this frame this is a creative work from the street where i was in the event uh, some uh, uh, event was going on and it was full crowded uh, city place at that time so at uh, that time i was just working on this uh, icm intentional uh, camera movement photography and uh, i was just working with that technique that time i was just learning so that time i decided that why should not i apply here so when i applied this effect icm effect i was in shutter speed somewhere around one by three and i just did with my intentional movement for the camera and i created this hazy effect uh, uh, from the crowd from the building so it was quite interesting and uh, it was quite coincident then i realized the similar kind of photo there is uh, some from prof some professional photographers already created quite recent. so it was quite surprised to me that uh, how the photographers or the people doing the same professional can think like same so it was quite surprised to me because some this is something which was already done by someone else and it just clicked my mind unknowingly i did i did it just by my own practice my experiment but something which was already happened in past so it can happen this is a photo you can observe uh, the, uh, from a train journey i was traveling in a train and i observe uh both people one is on the mobile the other with the uh, old man with the newspaper two different generations in the single frame and you can see the old generation is still having a newspaper in hand <laughs> they rely on the newspaper and the new generation uh, believe in talking they have mobile phones so two different we can say generation uh, we can see the different generation in the single frame uh, with uh, different activities so everything you can imagine that how street photography can can be uh, interesting sometimes to show the complete story this is again a uh, photo from the uh, from the train journey from the for the uh, same old man but i was trying to create a different creative uh, frame where uh, everyone was resting it was uh, afternoon time after lunch everyone was resting and i observed a small space between the curtain and i observed the hand it was quite emotional arising quite emotions in me and at that time i decided to capture this i hope you like it <laughs> This photo is uh, for the same old man which I showed you on the first photo. So this is the same man and in this photo I was just observing the light how the light is falling on him on, her, on his face and there was small patchy area on the roof kind of where from where the light was falling uh, on his face and it was quite a spotlight effect I was getting. So that time I decided that this is the frame uh, which will it will be memorable. It will be interesting to see how it looks uh, after just doing little enhancement on the editing. So it was quite interesting. This is a quite traditional street photography where the person reading newspaper in front of close, uh, closed shop and uh, it's quite minimalist. Uh, way of composition i applied rule of third here 
this photo uh, from the market where this old man was having quite 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 uh, expressions uh, from the eyes and it was quite emotional again for me to to observe the expression and everything around him so uh, that time i decided that i have to capture this frame and uh, mostly uh, i got really appreciation for this frame where i was able to capture the whole expression uh, from the portrait so being a portrait photographer we always look to capture the whole expressions from the subject and how the light behaves again the split light you can observe the one part or uh, the uh, one side of the face is completely lit and the other part is quite shadow other part is quite shadow that's how we create split light effect in uh, photography yeah and this is uh, from the street side shops uh, where at the start of the day people are walking to their journey and the shopkeeper just setting up their shop i just created an angle in a way so i can i can show the depth of the frame and this is what i try to achieve here uh, the elements in front uh, are from right side you can see they are start getting blurred and then getting into the focus that's how we create a depth of illusion this is again icm photo example intentional camera movement where i have to set the camera on low shutter speed and move the camera with intention uh, to create uh, st uh, blurry streaks and all effect that's what i try to achieve here this is again a street photography example where the elements around you if you find something interesting if they, even if they are not human they are uh, not, not element even they are just show pieces in a shop <laughs> if you find something interesting just go for it just take a shot and mostly uh, you will see that results are amazing like this photo this is a again quite creative photo example where uh, i was just uh, showing uh, uh, my participants how we can capture the motions and static things in one frame i was expecting people to cross <laughs> but fortunately i found the other vehicle crossed this uh, so i was focusing on the guy sitting in auto rickshaw and uh, i was just expecting some other crowd to cross him but some vehicle came and just the right moment when i observe this uh, guy and right in front of that then i complete the shot and i was able to create this frame this is again example of photo where we have to just observe the light and shadow and i was uh, just observing the light behind the subject the two girls walking uh, when the sun is behind the light is really behind you can see the background is quite bright because the light coming from behind and shadow is being created and i was just trying to create a frame with the surrounding with the elements around uh, like the tree and the railing side and so this is something i try to create a frame and i was uh, really happy with the overall composition that uh, i was able to capture some details from the front as well because of the light um, we are getting some light on the face uh, so this is overall good uh, good balance between the light and the shadow this is another example of the photo the similar frame what we seen in the previous one uh, where the two girls were there in that frame and the shadow is being created from the front because the sun was right behind and in this frame i just changed my angle a little bit and i coming from the angle and the shadow is look like creating from the angles too so that's add more visual impact in this frame because the lines are being created from the angle when we have leading lines coming from the angle it create good impact in overall framing 
because the lining's uh, line is coming uh, and being uh, they are crossing on the intersection point of rule of third when we are talking about rule of third it means two horizontal line two vertical lines crossing each other creating intersection points and the line also being crossed from the intersection point it adds more impact and because there are three girls uh, it's a rule of odd applied so it makes really good impact in overall if you have really liked this video and you want to give me a feedback what you have to do just like this video <laughs> that's the kind of feedback i was looking for and you can subscribe my channel if you like the content you want me to promote to create more and more content like this or i can improve with your suggestions that's for sure and uh, thank you so much for watching and it was really nice uh, to have you in my video channel thank you so much so we'll meet again in the next video thank you bye bye